Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, something that I noticed that the hash rate in the Bitcoin network is increasing. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, how does that affect the Bitcoin miners that are buying Bitcoin, like Mara, Riot, Hive, Hot8, CleanSpark, uh, BitFarms, all those other guys that are mining. So how does it affect their operations profit-wise? So let's take a look at it here really quick. So total hash rate here, as you're seeing it from Back in May, basically, when we had the China uh, basically blocking or stopping all the mining of uh, Bitcoin in China, banded basically, we've seen a huge decrease all the way. We were at a high of almost 180 million terahashes, uh, terahashes, and we've gone down to a low of 84 million. So during that period, the miners were making a lot of money because the hash rate has went down, difficulty as well went down, and you were able to mine more Bitcoins uh, than you would in the past. But ever since July 2nd, the network hash rate has been increasing. So we've increased basically almost, well, we've increased over 100%. We're at, uh, at right now we peaked at about 159 or so. Let's take a look at raw values, these are seven day averages. So we peaked at 181 and then we were low of basically 58. So almost, that would be a 2x increase in the hash rate uh, just alone in the last, what, three months or so? Uh, you got July, October, or July, August, August, September. So yeah, three months. Basically in three months, we went basically 2x in the difficulty, or not the difficulty, the total hash rate of the Bitcoin um, network. So you got all these guys that are mining it. Um, let's just take a quick look here. We'll use uh, Riot, for example just to kind of give you guys a ballpark figure. So currently with the to with the hash rate it is where it's at right now, we have Bitcoin network hash rate at a high of 173. We had a low to start out the quarter of 140 million. Uh, so we're taking the average of that and we're getting 162 uh, million for the hash rate on that. We're also using Bitcoin price at 61,040, <coughs> excuse me. So if we look at riots, your numbers, we'll use those them as an example for this. Uh, let's see here. So here it is, 162 million for the hash rate, 61,000 for, for the Bitcoin price. With all the miners that they have installed now, they're mining at approximately $84.5 million is the revenue, gross revenue from mining Bitcoin. But if the network goes up to 200 million, which it very well may in the next uh, month or so, and the Bitcoin price stays just the same, that 85 million now just turned to 68, uh, depending on when they value their uh, Bitcoins, right? So you're looking at 85 to 68, what is that? Um, 17 million drop in price, just from the network hash rate increasing in the next two months. So that's something that we have to take into account um, going forward. It's hard to calculate exactly how much it's gonna be, but Every month we do these kind of uh, videos, doing the updates on the production for all these guys. We always update the hash rate as well and the Bitcoin price so we can see where that's at. So even if, let's say the hash rate goes to 200 million, but let's say the Bitcoin price now goes up to 90,000 in the next two months, which is possible. You're looking now at making 100 million, right? So those two are kind of like a wedge or if one goes up and the other one stays the same, prices are going down, but if one goes up and both go up, you're still actually gonna make money on it. Uh, which is more important? I think they're both equally important to watch. Uh, obviously, if Bitcoin hash rate goes up to 250 million, let's say, uh, that's gonna obviously have a big impact on the amount they're gonna be mining each day. So that'll bring us back down to around 80, 80, 80 million for gross revenue. So just one of those things that I want you guys to be mindful of, that as the hash rate increases, which looks like it's going to, and we're gonna reach our peak here at 198, so almost 200, uh, 200 million back in April, we may end up there within the next month or so by the end of the year, which is going to be make it hard, making it harder for the miners to mine. It's gonna make it uh, obviously less profitable as long as Bitcoin doesn't go up. But here's the other catch. If Bitcoin goes down to 55,000, which it could, I forget that right, 55,000. We're looking at them making only 49 million compared to 80, 
80, what was it, 84 or 5 or something like that, 84 million. So that's a huge decrease in it. It's almost half of what they could have been mining. So that's obviously going to have an impact on the Bitcoin price or the stock price of all of these miners as well. So one thing that we need is if the Bitcoin hash rate is increasing, we also need the price to increase. And there's some catalyst that I think is going to continue to uh, improve with Bitcoin and the price should continue to increase. Um, you do have a lot of people now taking salaries in Bitcoin. You got, what is it, uh, New York governor, I think, or not governor. Is it governor? I can't remember. Governor or the mayor of New York is um, going to be taking three months of his salary in Bitcoin. You got the mayor of Miami taking Bitcoin salary for one month. You got other sports players, you got banks getting into it, allowing people to hold custody of cryptocurrencies. So there's a lot of adoption, I think. So that, I think, is a catalyst to drive price up higher in Bitcoin. So as long as the Bitcoin hash rate goes up and the price goes up, I think we're going to be okay. I think with these calculations that I'm doing, I think they'll come to fruition. But if hash rate goes up and the price doesn't go up, it's going to be paying for, obviously, the investors in these stocks, and uh, it's going to be paying for the miners themselves. They're going to be making less. Only benefit is, a, is if they hodl what they mine, wait for a while until Bitcoin price appreciates in value to 150, 200,000, whatever it is, that might obviously change. But here we can take a also look. Some are saying that we might reach 150,000 by the end of the year. So here's the impact that would have, even if hash rate went up to 250 million they would have an even better period uh, for Q4 at 134 million, which would be almost 50 million more than it would be at the current price level. So something to be mindful of, right? So these calculations are just based on what's going on. We can kind of, kind of figure out where the price is going to be, but obviously we have a hard time knowing where the hash rate is going to be and the Bitcoin prices. So we try to do these kind of videos, or I try to do these videos for you guys at least every month when they provide oper um, production, oper production updates. And then I try to give you guys also other videos for Bitcoin of what's happening um, so you guys can stay abreast of that as well because that has a huge impact on these stocks as well. So that's it. That's just Let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Um, it can be a little bit tricky. It can be a little bit confusing as far as terahash, gigahash, exahash, all that stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. I'm also working on a video on the different um, ASIC miners. So you got Canon. What's Miner, and then you got also um, Bitmain, which is their end miners. So I'm working on a video for that to kind of explain which ones are probably the better ones the company should be investing in. There's uh, some variation between the, the couple of the guys that are out there doing it. So um, that'll be coming out later on this week or next week sometime. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So have a great day. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then.